Hello everyone, my name is Kate and today I am doing my Bugopoly TBR. Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm doing it early because I finished all my books. All seven of them. So you'll be hearing my wrap up a little bit later. Um, because I'm going to finish out the month and finish hopefully another two books. Possibly. Um, so this month I am doing two readathons. They're both a month long. I'm doing the newts. I am going for the charms teacher for that. Um, so I have to have for that one I have to get an an O in charms, a level uh an E in defense against the dark arts, and, and at least an A. In one of the other uh, pots for the newts. And then I'm also doing the Disney Readathon, and I am Team Lion King. So I'm hoping to double up on like prompts, like prompt there and a prompt there. So, yeah. So, with that being said, I have to do three, five, set at least seven prompts for my, um, for the newts, and then if I don't fill in everything for the newts, um, I will add more roles to it to fill in the rest of the Disney readathon. So, and there is six prompts I have to do on the Disney readathon, um, and then there's a group book, so hopefully I can fit in that group book somewhere <laughs> um with the notes i'm not sure i forgot what the group book is actually for the lion king um so <laughs> with that being said we are going to do our first roll so what i mean by um go on road trip is that i want to read a book that is set in every country in the world so and then eventually also all 50 states of the United States where I am from. So, I have decided I'm going to read a horror novel. And it is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, hold on. Alright, so good road trip means... Uh, I want to read a book from every country or set in every country um, and then eventually all 50 states of the United States where I am from. So the book I have chose, it fits for my O level, for the um, newts and it also fulfills the prompt for a male protagonist for the Disney readathon and that my friends is Dracula by Bram Stoker so this fits for paperback because it's obviously a paperback oh I own a lot of paperbacks I like paperbacks personally so one of these I'm gonna have to pick random um Lee but we I had to think of the first book that comes to mind when I look. Um, so, yeah, here's Dracula by Bram Stoker. And since now that I'm thinking about that one, first book that comes to mind is uh, we'll make it work somewhere. <laughs> My first book. That came to mind is Jane Eyre. So this is going to be my um, second book for the newts for charms. Uh, E-level. I had to think of a book. I don't know off the top of my head. I choose J Jane Eyre. I don't know. I was just thinking Jane Eyre for whatever reason. I'm going to read Jane Eyre. Okay. So next row. So double eight or double, double four so it's eight one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it is a horror novel. So for this one, I. Okay, so this book is going to fit in with a um, book that ends on an even number for arithmetic, so that is A level. Um, and then this will also satisfy adult romance, technically. It's technically an adult romance. Um, and that is Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. It is technically a horror book. I looked it up. Um, I'm reading a ton of classics. <laughs> Unintentionally, I'm reading a lot of classics, which is great because I love classics. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm reading Phantom of the Opera next month. Alright, so that's two out of eight that I have to, um, roll, have to do, so, here we go, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and it has to be a sci-fi. Okay, so for the book that I will be reading on um, sci-fi is I was gonna go with my only sci-fi, but it doesn't really satisfy any prompts. This one does. This is gonna satisfy my A level, and it's gonna satisfy war and politics um, prompt. For the Disney readathon. Therefore, I am reading Red Rising by um, Pierce Brown. I believe it's black under the cover. Um, hopefully, it is. It kind of looks like it is. So, if it's not, um, I'm going to go. I don't know. I'm just. I'm going to read it. It's going to be. It's going to satisfy my. Um, it's also, I'm doing it on an ebook, so there's also that. I hope that it is black under the cover. It looks like it is. It honestly does. So, there's that. Okay, um, if not, I'll read something that I own that has black under the cover. Uh, I don't own a ton of hardbacks, actually. So, we'll figure it out. Alright, I'm reading Red Rising. So, that's my third of eight that I have to read. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is Other Country. For this one, we are doing my book. That was the first book that came to my head when I read the prompt. And that is Jane Eyre. By Charlotte Bronte because this is set in England it is not set in America therefore it fits my prompt and on my bookopoly roll and it fits the prompt for um, reading a book that's set in another country um, it doesn't fit anything for the Disney readathon except for the um, read an adult romance as well, but that one's already being satisfied by Phantom of the Opera. It'll be satisfied either way. So, we're reading a lot of classics this month, y'all. This is, is kind of crazy. Alright, that is my fourth roll out of eight. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's another comic. So, the second prompt for E is a, um, you have to read a comic or a manga or a book under 150 pages. This will also satisfy the prompt for reading a book that is going to make you emotional. So, um, this is two books in one. It says A Death in the Family, but there's also another comic book in here. I've already read it. A Death in the Family, so we're not going to read A Death in the Family. We're going to read... There's... A 
A Lonely Place of Dying Remembrances, and I don't know what just fell out. That's okay. Whatever. It's A Lonely Place of Dying Remembrances, um, and this is set after um, Batman's Death of the Family. And, yeah. I imagine this is going to get emotional, <laughs> because this is set after Jason Todd's um, passing away, and a death in the family. So, and just, it's gonna get emotional. I think it's gonna get emotional. If not, I can just read A Death in the Family again, because that's emotional. It's gonna satisfy both prompts. Anyways, I was hoping to get comics, because I wanted to read the second one of this one. So. Alright, so that was five out of eight. So, five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's Gallifrey. I have to go and get my things. For this one, I am choosing a book that is... Guess what, guys? It's another classic. What? What? Another classic? It's under 250 pages, which is what I mean by short book. Um... And I like the colors on the book. It's going to be The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I like the pink and purple and bluish colors. It is 219 pages, if you wanted to double check. My copy does, at least. Look at all these classics. Look at all the classics we've got. Oh my gosh. This is really cool. Anyways. So, this satisfies, like I said, the pretty cover. So, um, for charms, I've got this, this, and this for a paperback. Okay, so Defense Against the Dark Arts was a black book under the Dust Jacket, which will be Red Rising, or one of those books. And the first book that came to mind, which will be Shane Eyre. And then this satisfies, um, what is this? It satisfies something else. I'll look this back up. So. I need one more book for the newts, and then I also want to try and fit in the um, book for the the group book for the um, Disney Readathon. I'll be back. All right, so seventh roll of eight, three, one, two, three, classic. Okay, so for a classic. I, this is not going to, um, have, be for any prompt for newts or, or newts that I need, is a better way to put it, or the Disney readathon. I'm going to save those two because, um, my group book and the book starts with an A, which is what I want to do for the newts, satisfies, um, are both the same so hopefully I will be able to get that one so for my classic I just chose a classic I want to read because why not I chose uh you can't <laughs> you can't really see it as terrible lettering on the camera it's the house of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle I love Sherlock Holmes I'm so excited. I'm going to read it. It's very short, actually. It's really, really, really short. And another classic to read of the four, five, five books, five classics that I have here. Dang, I'm reading five classics this, this, this month. Wow. Five. And we still have one more to go. Okay. Last roll, everyone. This is eight. We are 
Where do we go? Oh, we're right there. Okay, last row. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Horror. <laughs> it's the month of classics. Let's just let's just say that. I don't want to read Cold Hard Canyon. I'm not prepared for that. Not again. So, we are reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, another, another classic. It doesn't fit any prompt. Um, and then I will just add on Aristotle and Dante discover the, the, something of the universe. I can't remember <laughs> what that one is. So, that will be my, um, It'll be starting with A and also the group book for um, the Disney Readathon. So, alrighty. So, these are the books <laughs> I'm planning to read in the month of August. Majority are classics, actually. Almost all of them, except for the Batman comic, is all classics that I'm holding. Then I'll be reading Red Rising and Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I think that's what it's called. So, yeah. I got a, I got a busy reading month, but a lot of these are short. So that's going to be really, really good. I don't know what order I'm going to be reading them and We will just see. Okay. Well, that's been it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment. If you've read any of these books, tell me what you thought of them. And why not leave a subscribe as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. So, we landed on that comics last month. So, we will roll to see. I'm doing seven rolls this time. So... At least nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go on road trip.